Good afternoon, everyone. Kevin from Chomas here. Thanks for joining us for the launch of our platform. Special thanks to our trade associations for reaching out and gathering quite a number of Singapore SMEs to attend this event. The small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs, are a key pillar of Singapore's economy. They contribute to about 50% of our GDP, employ about 65% of our workforce, and constitute 99% of all our enterprises. While they play a vital role in sustaining the economic growth, these SMEs, totaling 180,000 plus enterprises, are, however, more vulnerable during economic downturns compared to large corporates. As the supply chain digitization efforts and initiatives have been sweeping across the industry, we at Trames have, however, found that broadly, these have been centered around larger companies with larger budgets and dedicated manpower. In order to address this, we have launched our Trames SME product to affordably pass on capabilities we have realized while we have been collaborating with our multinationals to the small and medium business community. We believe that the Trames team and product will create value for your organization by providing an affordable, inclusive, and easy to use platform that can realize cost savings and generate profits for your companies and also your partners. Thank you for joining us today. Please enjoy a quick video introduction we have prepared that explains the problem statement, features, and our capabilities to improve collaboration and visibility across your trade and transport supply chains. We want this to be an interactive event. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in chat and we'll get to them in the last 15 minutes of this event. Do enjoy the event that we have put together for you and I'll catch up with you after the video. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Before getting into the product, I'd like to take the time and opportunity to introduce some of Tramas's key personnel that will be talking us through the entire event today. So let's start, start off with me. Once again, Kevin here. I'm currently serving as the CEO of Tramas. And being Singaporean, you know, trade and transportation is very much in our country's blood, right? Given our country's status as a maritime and financial hub. On a personal note, like many of you here, I've been involved in operating a business from Singapore having been involved in the startup ecosystem since 2015. You know, whilst conducting imports from China in my previous venture, I personally experienced a large disparity in terms of technology adoption across stakeholders in the process. So on one hand, we had rather advanced ordering systems from our relatively large suppliers, while we had, on, and on the other, we had to constantly field calls, emails, and even handle postage of physical trade documents whilst working with local haulers and custom brokers to effectively deliver our products to our customers. So we had often incurred additional charges in transportation due to the delays in up and updates of our shipment statuses, leading to gaps in planning and late delivery of critical trade documents. I then decided to launch Tramas with a few like-minded people to facilitate a co better collaboration between trade and transportation providers with a unified digital platform. Looking ahead, Tramas wants to enable trade, trade and transportation activities to be paperless, cutting across customers in the physical, informational and financial networks of global supply chains. I fully agree with you, Kevin. Having worked in uh, various roles in supply chain and logistics for the last 20 years, I can absolutely echo that sentiment. 
The legacy processes, particularly in freight and transportation, have not evolved in the last two decades, and there is clearly plenty of room in this industry to play catch up. Hi everyone, my name is Ivan. I'm the Supply Chain Officer for Tromes. Kevin, Alok and myself, we met in 2018 when we worked together to build a solution for a Fortune 500 company. Surprisingly, we were soon approached by other MNCs seeking to address the very same problem statement, which led us to confirm that there is real need from corporates, regardless of their size. Hence, Tromes was conceived to deliver inclusive innovation, tackling international freight and transport problems not only with the MNCs, but also with the SMEs. And it was at that point in time that I decided to take the leap of faith, jumping into entrepreneurship after 24 years of working in big corporates, joining these guys. Good times, I should say. Fun workshops and design thinking sessions. Bootstrapping a company from scratch is always a very fulfilling experience. We ideated our solution, focused across MNC clients and iterated out a product with many different suppliers and partners, helping optimize a complex supply chain that spanned across the globe. So as an engineer by training, I serve as a CTO for Tremes, and I come from a background in technology where open access to innovation is really the norm, or open source as you call it. My vision has always been to extend the technology we built to bring communities together, spanning across regulators, business networks, and technology providers to empower companies of all sizes to go digital. I think it's time to take a quick stock take of our journey thus far. As a young startup, we have been moving fast. Despite being just a little over two years old, we have commercialized our product with a few MNCs as well as pilots. Furthermore, we are also working closely with industry multipliers, including government organizations, leading technology vendors, and industry associations. Whilst we have traditionally built products and services for the MNC markets and garnered traction there, the SME community is an extremely important part of not only Singapore's, but many other countries' economies. That's why we made a conscious decision to develop and launch an additional standardized, easy to onboard product that would cater directly to the needs of the SMEs. However, this was not accomplished with us alone. Collaboration across the industry is key to driving success in digitization initiatives. We have invited IMDA, one of our close partners, to say a few words about the industry. I would like to invite Mr. Lo Sin Yong, Director of Trade, Sectoral Transformation Group at Infocom Media Development Authority of Singapore. Good day. My name is Sin Yong, and I'm the Director for Trade under the Sectoral Transformation Group in Singapore's Infocom Media Development Authority, IMDA for short. My role is to look at what and how technologies can be effectively deployed in contributing towards the digital transformation of Singapore's wholesale trade sector. IMDA is a government statutory board under the Ministry of Communication and Information. Our organization regulates broadcasts and media content. IMDA also regulates telecommunication infrastructure, postal services, and personal data protection. However, IMDA also has an industry function to champion the development of the Infocom media technology sector, as well as to use these digitalization technologies to help businesses across all sectors and industries to transform in order to evolve, maintain relevance, and compete effectively in a progressing digital economy. Measures taken to combat the COVID-19 pandemic have caused disruptions to businesses on an unprecedented scale. This global health crisis has demonstrated that digitalization is no longer just an option. It is a critical necessity for businesses to operate and survive. Today, electronic transactions and e-commerce are central to the global economy. Just in 2018, the value of global e-commerce sales was estimated at US 26 trillion, equivalent to 30% of the global GDP that year. The COVID-19 pandemic has given a further boost to global retail e-commerce, which grew by 37% in the first half of 2020, more than double the rate in 2019. International supply chain typically evolve 
many parties with sets of documents. To cater for the different degree of digital readiness of the different parties, we not only need to interoperate with digital systems, but also between human and machines, and most importantly, between hard copies and digital documents. To elevate paperless trade to the next level, we believe that a better way that is fast, cheap, and easy for thousands of digital silos globally to interoperate is needed. We do this by focusing on the two key factors that resisted digitalization. They are inefficient processes governing the supply chain process and fragmented system, be it electronic or manual. From our past experience in many trade digitalization projects, we have learned that the solution to cross-border paperless trade is not only a technical one. The solution needs to be an embodiment of business needs, standardization, law, and last but not least, technology. The sets of software components and tools that we build is just a manifestation of this embodiment, namely the Trade Trust Initiative. It is designed for organizations to easily integrate and deploy onto their existing IT infrastructure while extending interoperability beyond one's respective digital economy. Trade Trust consists of four interdependent components which work in concert to give the network participants trust and legal certainty with regard to the digital documents that are being exchanged among these participants. Singapore has worked to amend its Electronic Transactions Act, ETA in short, to provide legal certainty to electronic negotiable instruments like the Electronic Bill of Lading and recognize them as valid title documents. The ETA will adopt the Model Law on Electronic Transferable Records, MLETR, of the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, UNCITRA, a legal framework that countries can harmonize their legislation to that enables the recognition of electronic equivalence of paper-based transferable documents. The amendment of the ETA was recently passed in the Singapore Parliament and it is targeted to take effect in the coming months. Working with the UNCFAC to publish the Intergovernment Leisure Standards, working with ISO TC307 to publish a MLETR compliant white paper, both would include a reference implementation. Thirdly, we need to have an accreditation framework. This is to help us certify technical solutions that meets the requirements of the law. Last but not least, there are software components. This is a set of open source software code that can easily integrate into backend solutions to the Trade Trust network. We have been working with various domestic and international organizations to conduct trials on digital trade and also to encourage trade trust adoption. Tremes is one example of such company, an early adopter of Trade Trust and is also one of the winners of the Trade Trust Challenge. IMDA had worked with Trimes as well as R3, a blockchain solution provider, on the use to streamline the exchange of digital documentation using Trade Trust. We believe that the private-public partnership and its continued collaboration is important to shift international trade from a paper-based system to a digitally enabled one. By conducting trade digitally, it will potentially create enormous value based on time and operational cost savings, reduce incidence of fraud and human error, and opportunities to innovate and disrupt. In this new norm, we believe that SMEs should transact digitally by default, and more importantly, to adopt solutions that are interoperable 
in order to maximize the benefits of digitalizations. Thank you. If anyone is interested to know more about Trade Trust, feel free to contact us. Thank you so much, Sin Yong, for joining us today. Um, we at Trames are really excited to be working with IMD on the Trade Trust Initiative. I think it's really important for local companies like us and also international business networks to be able to collaborate with legislator and also technology providers in order to bring in a sustainable and efficient digital trade and transport workflows. Up next, we have Ivan Xiao, our Chief Supply Chain Officer, who will be walking us through our product and its key features. Over to you, Ivan. Hi again, everyone. I'd like to take the next 10 odd minutes to take you through some of the key features and benefits around the Tramas platform. With this brief, we hope you get a better idea of how such a solution could significantly ease the workload of your logistics teams, drive productivity of your workforce, and also improve the profit margins of your company. Organizations and teams are basic building blocks of the Tramas platform. This is essentially the setup portion, which sets the right foundation for all subsequent processes and features. The freight ecosystem consists of quite a number of organizations that work together to fulfill and deliver shipments globally. Users will represent different companies and will need to register their respective companies as organizations on the platform. In more complex ecosystems, users could also belong to multiple organizations. Under the organization layer as a subset, teams then need to be defined in order to invite users onto the platform where specific roles in the respective groups can be assigned. So collaboration is underpinned by the flexibility to set up different teams across different organizations, working on different tasks, but all together in the same environment. Thereafter, workflows and processes must then be built on top of the organizations and teams. The Tramas platform allows for the configuration of unique shipment processes into what we call templates. Basic templates can be easily deployed for those who prefer to use pre-configured formats instead of recreating one from scratch. Although if there is interest to create a granular and very detailed set of milestones, that is absolutely possible as well. These options are made available based on the fundamental principle that shipment processes differ between companies and we must give users the flexibility to configure sequence of activities at a very granular level whenever needed. Shipment milestones pre presented in the platform are also easily configurable based on varying preferences. Collaboration starts with teams from the earlier segment and are assigned to individual workflows based on the various different roles coming all together to work on a shipment. These two segments together complete the configuration process, allowing all users to start using the Tramas solution. The Vessel Schedule functionality is a very exciting module that provides visibility to all sailing schedules across ocean carriers. This feature is especially important during this time where freight capacity is a huge constraint across the globe, and there is a need for shippers to establish options quickly based on the preferred sailing schedule that fits your timelines. With just a few search parameters, origin, destination, shipment date range, the Tramas platform provides a list of all ocean carriers and available sailing schedules operating on those requirements. There is no more need to search the classified ads, swap across numerous ocean carrier platforms to check schedules, or rely on your third-party logistics service provider in order to establish options for you. This is a functionality I am personally very passionate about. Booking requests is one of the two ways that users can begin using the Tramas platform bearing in mind that the fundamental steps of organizations, teams, and templates have already been completed, booking requests marks the start of any shipment with a shipper working with forwarders to effect the freight booking process. Traditionally, freight booking requires significant towing and froing. This process includes clarifying booking requirements, cargo details, and fulfilling shipping documents. This process becomes tedious especially when it needs to be repeated between multiple forwarders at the same time. The booking request function helps to concentrate all the communication with all existing and potential forwarders of the shipment process onto one single channel. In doing so, the Tramis solution would help to eliminate any potential risk of delay or loss, ensure prompt updates of booking requests between various collaborators, easily visible through a dashboard. 
Trames therefore effectively eliminates the need for traditional coordination modes like emails, fax, or phone calls, as the entire workflow is orchestrated on the platform and in so doing, allows parties to all realize significant efficiencies. Document management is another big problem statement that we want to help our customers solve. Each international shipment typically comprises of a set of shipping documents which are inches thick. Imagine that being replicated across multiple organizations, we'd be saving plenty of trees across multiple teams and multiple shipments. Hence, the next important feature that we've included is our document repository, which is essentially a single location where all shipping docs are stored. These include your bills of lading, your booking confirmations, packing lists, just to name a few. All invited parties to this shipment will be able to retrieve or deposit documents, depending on their roles and whether they have been assigned the rights to do so or not. Document governance is enforced because we log who uploaded documents and when. Timestamps are clearly indicated so that there is a full audit trail of all document uploads and downloads across the shipment lifecycle. Documents will reach parties in a matter of seconds as soon as they are uploaded. A notifications function complements this feature so that users and teams can opt to receive notifications once any specific docs are uploaded and can respond to it accordingly and promptly. Finally, we have also enabled Optical Character Recognition Technology, OCR for short, to be able to easily extract information from documents uploaded so that it adds value to users and reduces manual work. Track and Trace provides another entry point into the Trame solution if users are not already using our booking functionality. To do this, you or your appointed forwarders who are already invited to participate on our platform would simply upload any one of three possible input documents. This could either be a booking confirmation, a bill of lading, or simply a container ID. The platform then digitally converts these documents into electronic form and uses these data fields to automatically create your shipment and embedding the much needed real-time visibility tracking capabilities that we already have. We empower our customers with first-hand real-time shipment visibility at their fingertips. Our customers can now provide firm commitments on delivery dates to their customers because the Tramis platform provides two important capabilities. The first, proactive alerts when there are any incidents that occur during the freight process, ranging from transshipment, container offloads, etc. The second, predictive vessel ETAs that feed directly back to all users and teams to support operational coordination processes, which is necessary if you want to avoid surprises or hidden supply chain costs. Companies with a po large portfolio of shipments will find our Active Shipments tab very useful. We have provided a dashboard to manage all shipments that have been created, either from the booking request or the track shipment module, as described earlier. Custom filters are built in to allow for specific shipment searches across these active shipments. Countries, ports, and shipment dates are just some of the parameters to name a few. This feature is also great for managing task, task execution of the various teams and users based on the workflows defined earlier. New unforeseen tasks that crop up later can also be added and assigned here whenever needed. The statuses of each task and event milestones will be clearly displayed and managed here as well. It is closely integrated to our next important feature, which is all about managing issues and exceptions. At Tramess, we believe that number one, prevention is always better than cure, but two, it's not possible to expect perfection in operations. So three, when issues occur, you want to know first so that these issues can be resolved and mitigated ASAP. With these principles, our issues feature is exactly built to manage exceptions and mitigate operational risks. It is in the form of a forum where the topic can be easily added in free form and those parties that need to be informed can be assigned to take action here. Any shipment with an open issue tagged against, against it will be bumped up all the way to the top of the page to ensure that whatever necessary parties are alerted to take the necessary mitigating actions. There will also be email notifications to the relevant parties upon creation of an issue in the shipment. Notifications are another important part of the solution that aims to provide timely alerts to users with flexibility on what event or milestones they would like to be notified on. It could range from uploading uh, a specific document or 
It could be when a milestone de deadline is delayed by three days. Of course, we all prefer that there are no issues, but let's handle them well if and when they occur. Next is our amazing free trade agreement advisor feature, whose main goal is to help our customers do two things. The first, trade compliance, more specifically to validate that customers that the customs declarations have been executed accurately, and two, to identify opportunities in free trade to take advantage of bilateral agreements that have been struck between trading countries. It is important to quote Thomson Reuters' research at this point, which states that two-thirds of MNCs underutilize FTAs, and they leave millions on the table. And this is despite many MNCs having customs resources to study and master this topic. So our question was, what about our small and medium enterprise customers? Tramis's FTA advisor digitizes the entire process and makes it super easy to identify opportunities to qualify goods under FTA-specific rules of origin, comply with the FTA guidelines, and reduce or eliminate duties while avoiding manual work. Taking into consideration that your customs broker could be onboarded as well, forms required for leveraging these FTAs can be downloaded directly from the Tramis platform providing ease of filing, since majority of data is already available from our shipment records that are already present here. We can't wait to help you maximize your margins through FTA Advisor, and you really don't need to be employing an army of people to do this successfully. And finally, we all know that security is extremely important, and there is a need to ensure secure exchange of documents and information. To do this, we have enhanced our platform with blockchain technology, which underpins our document repository to ensure that all information and documents on our platform are secure and authenticated. This initiative was undertaken together with R3, as well as Singapore's Infocom Media Development Authority, to ensure that the title of cargo through electronic shipping documents can be transferred and exchanged effectively and legally. To do this, what you see in our document repository here are indicators that documents have not been tampered with. When you actually click through, you will be redirected out where a key details of generated trade trust documents will be displayed, confirming that the integrity of the document is indeed intact. Thank you everyone for listening. We have built this feedback with numerous SMEs on what would be the ideal features on the Tramis platform. If there's any additional feedback or requests, do feel free to reach out. Next, let's hear from some of our early adopters, as well as an industry partner that we've been collaborating with very closely on their usage and views of the platform. Afternoon, everyone. I'm Hauket, General Manager for Ademco in Singapore. Ademco provides technological security solutions and services to businesses and governments across Asia for more than 40 years. We have been at the forefront of security technology, and we work with partners in various parts of the world to derive the best-in-class security technology. Granular visibility across our shipments, especially international ones, have always been a challenge for us. It was highly dependent on the promptness of the forwarders or any partners who we are working with. It was also very much on demand and not proactively pushed to us. Without this visibility, we are subjected to delays that will cause us liquidated damages and damages. With the Tremes solution, we have been able to get good visibility across all our shipments, track our international deliveries with ease, and it's helped us to avoid unnecessary delays and incurring costs. Being able to work with our partners on a neutral platform has benefited us too. Our staff now have more time to do additional duties, giving us better efficiencies and productivity. Carries is a local company offering 360 e-commerce management solutions for startup and businesses. We provide end-to-end -end services from packaging design, printing and packing, product marketing, fulfillment and sales distribution. We work with vendors and partners in Asia with a few shipments of products and packaging materials per month, which we keep track with Excel. When we first heard about Trames, we were unsure of how the platform can benefit our business, but we decided to try it out because it's important to stay ahead with digitalization. For one, all our staff, our partners, and even our customers were able to get real-time visibility of the shipment on one platform, saving everyone's time on checking and waiting for replies. 
The most useful feature for us is being able to create our own workflow templates all the way from our procurement to manufacturing to shipment phase. With this, we were able to ensure that processes are never forgotten and documents are always in place. Our staff also find Tremes useful, even for times when they need colleagues to cover their duties. Overall, adopting Tramers platform has led to a significant improvement in operations and allowed us to value add to our stakeholders, staff and customers included. Hi, I'm Gerald Hong from HEC Electrical and Construction and Star Ready Mix. We are 100% Singapore owned and managed SME in the construction industry. We mainly focus on design and build projects as well as supplying building materials such as concrete to our customers. Some of our notable projects include Changi Jewel and Sengkang General Hospital. As with most Singapore companies, we do purchase building materials and equipment such as sand, stone and electrical switchboards from other suppliers from various countries. Visibility of product shipment will not be available once the shipment departs from Port of Origin. Our procurement team will have to coordinate with our overseas suppliers via emails and calls which are typically not responded promptly. We also have to work with our local consolidators to pick up our products from the port and deliver them to our office or warehouse. Physical documents such as bill of lading has to be exchanged, sent with our partners. Sometimes this results in documents being misplaced, lost or just delayed, resulting in significant shipment delay or worse, wrong shipment arrival notice. This results in late administrative fees which will affect our customer relations, productivity and profitability. These issues get magnified when the number of shipments that we do increase and it becomes even harder for us to manage. Having since used Tramess, we have managed to almost totally reduce the amount of paper documentations and communications channels to one platform. With the Tramess document repository, all our partners are able to easily check what documents have been uploaded and any action performed will trigger a notification to all parties in the shipment, making it easier to track as well. Overall, reducing paperwork and the number of emails between us and our partners has not only been a good experience but has also improved our operations and productivity. Uh, hi, um, this is Patrick Ho. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Scala, the Supply Chain and Logistics Academy. Um, we are a training provider in the supply chain and logistics space and we also empower a lot of uh, uh, manpower conversion programs in Singapore for this particular space. We work a lot with uh, WSG as well as other government agencies in providing this training and this capability to the supply chain space. Um, so we're now into the uh, fourth uh, industrial age and the third machine age and uh, there has been this massive adoption of digital technologies in the way we live, work and play. Uh, and this has been happening for a number of decades now and is growing at an exponential rate, a tremendous rate. And for this past year, the pandemic has uh, accelerated this push towards digitalization uh, and uh, transformation. Furthermore, supply chains, once driven by cost and lean thinking, have become broken. So building resilient, responsive and efficient supply chains is now the new imperative, but that will require visibility as well as total perspective which is in turn uh, requiring real-time data and a unified view of the ecosystem and the supply chain. At the call of most businesses, transformation is digitalization. And the starting point of the journey of transformation is firstly learning. And Scala, together with all its partners, hopes to enable the starting point of that journey. Trames is a key example of a startup leading the charge to drive digitalization of supply chain across the industries. Digital platforms such as Tramers will be key to uplifting SMEs as well as uh, MNCs empowering their staff to handle and manage their international freight operations much more efficiently. It is commendable in what they are doing to empower not just MNCs but also enterprises and SMEs to digitalize their supply chains in an effective but affordable manner. As many of these technologies are complex, evolving and requires a level of technical and strategic understanding, Scala will continue to search and identify the best-in-class partners to bring the latest to our learners. ...to work with you and your teams to start realizing the benefits of digitalization in your trade and transportation activities. So a uh, real special thanks to our partners and also our early adopters, which you've heard from earlier, 
who have taken the time to build and test the product with us, you know, leading up to this launch. Um, so, you know, for those who sign up today, we are extending a special promotion. Um, so you can actually sign up, you know, up to six new users uh, via email to your organization for up to, you know, 12 months of free usage of the Trimass platform. So without further ado, um, let's welcome back um, Ivan and Alok to start our Q&A segment. Um, so do feel free to continuously um, post questions um, in the Q&A uh, um, section of Zoom and we'll get to them uh, right now. So, um, so the first question is, um, the platform looks complex. Um, will there be training provided uh, if we are there and if we are keen to use, right? So um, essentially um, on our platform, we've got like a intercom or uh, I would say like a, a chatbot, which connects you directly to any of our uh, staff that will be there to support any of your questions uh, 24 seven. Um, Ivan, uh, would you like to chime in on, on this question as well before we move on to the next one? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the whole intent of us uh, creating this uh, solution was to simplify freight and uh, transportation and digitize the process, right? So in fact, it's not so complex, you know, you should definitely give it a shot. Yeah, but we're there to support you if uh, any help is needed along the way. All right, perfect. Um, let's move on to the next one. So um, do all partners have to come on board? Um, what if our forwarders are not keen? Um, Alok, you, would you want take this one yeah absolutely uh, so just to uh, you know clarify that it is not necessary for all, all your partners to come in uh, you could uh, definitely use the platform for your internal team or just by yourself uh, it would definitely add value but uh, bringing your partners on board uh, is a whole experience and ecosystem by itself which i'm sure if you try out you will definitely love yeah, so um, you can use it on your own organization for your own workflows and, you know, um, you get a lot more benefit and also um, be the ability to collaborate across your organizations if you um, just simply invite um, your, your partners on board to, to participate in digitalization of your train and transportation activities. Um, the next question is really simple. So um, do all users have to pay? Um, right now, no. Um, we are, it's absolutely free um, for, uh, for us right now, um, at least for the next one year. Um, moving forward, um, we, we will be charging on a per TEU basis, and it's only for um, the originators of the shipment, uh, of the shipment, right? So let's go to the next question by uh, Oliver Lee. Um, so, you know, um, where do you get the shipping data and how much info do we need to get? I think the best person equipped to answer this question would be <laughs> Alok, our Chief Technology Officer. Yeah. Alok, you want to take it? Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, uh, it's uh, interesting. Uh, how do we uh, uh, get the, uh, the data? So, we have a lot of different uh, partners uh, on board, uh, ours. Uh, so, these partners help uh, enable, get information from across the industry. Uh, many of this is really public data and sometimes it's hard to get data, but uh, that's where, you know, we uh, come up and work together with them to pull all this together and blend it uh, with the data you put in uh, to give you the unique experience that we, uh, you know, Ivan just uh, showcased earlier. Actually, I'd like, I like to chime in on this one as well. So remember that we're digitizing an existing freight process, right? So in fact, the originator of the shipping data is actually from you, the shippers, yeah? The the people who are moving goods from one country to another. So in fact, that data is already in your hands and we're simply trying to help you manage it better. Yeah, but I mean, um, yeah, so just a quick wrap up for that question, right? So in order to track shipments, I think it's real simple. You can just give us your carrier or your bill of lading or your booking confirmation number or any kind of container information. Um, just those one or two fields, um, we would be able to pass you the visibility um, to be able to track your shipments, you know, um, across, you know, the port to port operations. So thanks for the question, Oliver. Um, so next we have Nick. So will we need to integrate our systems with your platform to use? Short answer, no. Um, but if you want to sort of automate a lot of your um, data flows, um, the technology team will be happy you know, to, to be able to start um, integrations to, to, to cut up any of these manual processes. Um, next, we have a question on FTA, right? So I think this, I'm going to pass it over to you, Ivan. So the question is, you know, is the FTA automatically reflected every time we create a shipment or any of our users create a shipment? Yeah, so it's a, it's a, it's a a complementary process as well, right? So uh, what we do is we, we digitize the, the details that we find in your commercial invoices. Uh, we recognize the product, yeah? And uh, we can digitally uh, transfuse that, that in, into the FTA advisor module that will advise you about whether you can leverage off an FTA or not, right? So it's, uh, it's part and parcel of the same solution, right? Uh, but it does require some digitization work in the back end. 
Yeah, I mean, um, the FTA module, um, basically because we have the origin and destination countries, right? So um, typically, um, all you actually need to do is just uh, input the goods type, and we will show you, you know, uh, the available um, FTAs that are, that, that, are, that are there for your, you know, import or export teams to take advantage of. Um, next question is on setting up. So how long does it typically take to set up? So I'm going to pass this over to Alok with our yeah. early adopters and uh, clients. Yeah, sure. I'm going to take this question. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think there's a general theme on a couple of questions on everyone being afraid. I think compared to most other platforms, how much information, how much integration uh, does it take before you can get uh, kick started? Uh, I mean, the short answer is it's very simple. Uh, I mean, as you saw earlier, you can just click on sign up, enter your name and uh, your email address, and you're right away inside the platform. Once you want to collaborate and create shipments, again, it's a one single form you fill up with your organization. You know, basic things like your location, organization name. It, it should be done in a couple of minutes uh, and everything else is optional. You can utilize the platform in, in a very flexible manner to what you really want it to do. If you want the FTA, then you put in your origin in the country, destination country, and maybe, uh, which is usually there anyways, and the, uh, you know, the goods type. Uh, if it's just tracking, you put in your uh, your BL number. It, it's uh, very flexible in that manner. So it should be very small, the setup time. Okay, perfect. Um, the next question from anonymous attendee is um, another technical question, right? So what uh, infrastructure is the platform built on? Um, are there permission okay. controls if we uh, have our partners on board as well? So mm -hmm. I think for data and tech, I'm gonna funnel okay, it over okay, to you okay. again, Alok. Sure, yeah. sure, let me, let me do that. Um, okay, so to answer this, I mean, we are a startup, right? So for us to do everything by ourselves is definitely not possible. I mean, from all our backgrounds, we have worked with a lot of the big uh, technology vendors before as well. And that's exactly what we do now. I mean, we have, uh, we work with AWS, IBM, and, you know, all our other partners like uh, Calder. We leverage on their, uh, you know, years of experience in the industry, and then we build the technology over there. And that's where our infrastructure is. It's uh, hosted definitely on the cloud. We are very cloud native uh, with, uh, you know, in line with 21st century, uh, all digital technology for that matter. And permission controls, definitely everything is separated logically. Uh, at the data. And uh, I mean, if you have any questions regarding that, our team would be very happy to, uh, you know, address them uh, to your technical teams. It's, uh, I mean, it's something we deal with very often working with uh, big and small companies. So that should be something we can sort out. All right, perfect. Um, let's move on to the next question. So it's from JIT, right? So is there an auto prompt for leveraging FTAs when planning shipments? Or will the user have to go to a separate screen, right, for relevant FTA opportunities? I think we kind of covered that um, earlier. So um, all uh, every because every shipment we have origin and destination. Um, basically, you know, as uh, users of the platform, you can just go to the FTA advisor tab, just type in um, the goods type, or even just upload your invoice, and we would be able to analyze um, those data points and give you the the relevant recommendation. Um, uh, and the next question, is our platform subscription based? Yes, it will be, um, but definitely since we are launching it um, right now into our early, I would say, user pool, um, those organizations that sign up today will have, you know, uh, 12 months free, uh, up to 12 months free worth of uh, unlimited use of our platform. So obviously, um, yeah, do, do, do feel free to push um, the signups for, uh, to your community as well. Um, moving into the, uh, into the commercialization plans of it, it, it will be subscription based, um, typically for um, the, as, uh, the, the, the platform will be charged based off the number of active shipments that you create um, on, 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 our, on our ecosystem. Um, and they'll be charged monthly. <laughs> so next question, how does blockchain help to add value to the ecosystem? Right. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> look, I think you're jump, jumping a bit together. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let, yeah, let it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, uh, you know, interesting and happy topic for me because I think a couple of, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks back or a month back, I wrote an article on this as well. It's on my LinkedIn page as well uh, to look. I mean, it's very interesting how blockchain is really, helping drive a lot of, uh, you know, critical uh, innovations in the space. And uh, that's why we definitely wanted to include it as part of our platform as well. That said, it's uh, not a blocker. I mean, you could simply choose not to use it. We want to focus on the critical parts where we believe that blockchain adds the maximum value. And that to me is electronic documents. Uh, I mean, uh, probably Kevin, you can chip in into uh, the couple of the other interesting aspects regarding uh, electronic documents maybe and why we chose that particular section to leverage blockchain? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, um, blockchain definitely um, helps in terms of um, solving for time and trust issues, right? So um, in global supply chains, it's all about, you know, um, communications across um, parties and peers. Um, so with um, blockchain technology, um, especially with um, working with uh, trade trust, we actually bring together, you know, um, users and organizations across, you know, three very distinct groups, right? So one on the legislative side, um, so being able to have open standards, open protocols and adopt that into our document schemas allow you know for this interoperation and secure transmission of data right across the parties um and then on the business network side um because we have a very open i would say architecture um you're able to easily onboard your partners into the network and we would give them common identities to be able to validate those kind of documents as you guys um, co-draft it right and obviously from a tech layer right we actually built our blockchain um, protocols on R3, right? So being a, that technology provider, um, that blo particular blockchain protocol has, you know, around 70 plus um, trade finance networks that we're looking, you know, to be able to bring this value and bring this in interoperation to our users in the next period, right? So right now we are um, a startup, so we're launching our MVP and we're definitely going to be um, engaging the community as we continue to build, you know, more features that are going to bring value to you, your business and also your business community. Um, so let's move on. So in your document rep uh, repository, are these copy documents or do the original still need to be sent if the receiver is not using trade trust, et cetera? So I think Ivan has been quiet for a while. So I'm gonna toss this question to you, Ivan, and uh, you know, Alok and I can jump in <laughs> to, 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 to supplement, yeah? Yeah, so these, these are definitely uh, uh, uploaded uh, digital documents. Yeah, but um, I think there is, there is also a question of, um, market maturity and of course you know if the importing customs authorities are requiring the originals then of course those originals need to be accompanying the shipment still right uh, it's a really a question of uh, when uh, custom authorities and governments are ready to completely digitize that process then uh, Trimex is definitely there to help you in that journey yeah but uh, we anticipate that uh, it's gonna take uh, at least a couple of months in order for us to to get to that point where everything across the trade the international trade is fully digital. Yeah, yeah perfect. I mean, like uh, a good answer from Ivan. Right? So, you know, really using the platform right off the bat is going to bring some efficiencies to your organizations in terms of, you know, planning and being able to um, sort of like uh, do this collaborative document drafting, making sure all the information that you're going to be use, leveraging physical documents is accurate, right? And then moving into the future, we are working with the ecosystem of parts, right? Uh, from tech communities to Gov, gov standards to kind of drive forward this idea of uh, paperless trade and you know integrated um, trade and transportation activities across stakeholders right so let's move on to the next question from jit again so um do shipping companies or freight providers have to be onboarded to the platform so that we can check avail uh, availability of capacity right on vessels and freight capacity so um, yeah uh I'll look you want to do that <laughs> sure sure question. sure um, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, if you don't mind, I just want to add a small point on the previous question as well. Uh, it's just to clarify to everyone out there, the ability of, you know, getting onto a full technology platform is about, uh, you know, digitizing your entire experience and then leveraging on us as a partner for uh, you to be able to catch up to all the small leg uh, legislation that are, you know, happening around the world and uh, advancements happening around the world. So once you're on the platform, maybe you need to start off with a copy of a document now, but the second a particular trade lane allows you to work with electronic documents. I mean, we would be working independently. In, I mean, we would be working uh, as our goal to enable you to uh, operate there with electronic documents. So I, I would say take this as most of a, you know, mostly a progressive uh, innovation, a progressive upgradation of the entire industry. So. Uh, yeah, maybe on top of that, I'll uh, also uh, answer the question regarding the trade forwarders and the comp uh, shipping companies on board on the platform. I think I mentioned this earlier as well. Uh, the idea is that you do not really need anyone to be on the platform. You could just start off with just yourself, maybe not even your team, with just yourself, because just by putting the BL number and the, the shipping operator, let's say I can say it's a, a particular carrier and a, particular BL number or a booking confirmation number, that's enough for us to, you know, track and trace uh, the uh, critical milestones uh, and show this on the platform. You really don't need your shipping companies or their freight forwarders to come on board. You need just two keys, uh, two uh, small fields to be put in to kickstart the experience. 
that said i would believe that once you see that you will understand bringing more and more people onto the platform definitely starts adding value not just to you but to them as well uh, but I, that's an experience i would probably say you guys to, should try out and we'll definitely understand why i'm saying that yeah i mean just to extend the question a little bit um we are also adding um air tracking capabilities and also courier tracking capabilities so that it's not just going to be um container ships right that you would be able to get visibility on in our platform so um in the upcoming i would say day uh, week you will be able to sort of like track your airway bill numbers and even if you use you know um cross border couriers right for e-commerce deliveries you can even put the courier tracking number and be able to 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 to, to get that visibility um, let's move on to the next question, right? So um, in the supply chain route, uh, only if parties like exporters, importers, banks, forwarders um, have to be integrated into the platform, then it will only be useful. So yeah, really agree with um, this sentiment, uh, which is why, you know, uh, we made a strategic push, right, to sort of leverage all of the core um, trade document capabilities and augment that with uh, blockchain capabilities, right? So the idea is that um, we will be working on open technology and open standards so that, you know, um, as different, um, I would say, service providers or even like, um, um, uh, I would say, uh, banks or trade financiers will be able to gain access to our document through the blockchain ecosystem should your organization feel that it's uh, uh, it's beneficial for you to, to leverage those, those capabilities. So um, definitely um, we do agree in terms of being able to integrate and also provide applications for the entire suite of, uh, uh, of users, right? So it's really more of a rising tide raises all ships kind of a, a setup. And I think, you know, even in the recent, I would say pandemic has also pushed a lot of digitalization efforts forward. Right, so um, we are very excited to be part of this community. Um, definitely for um, all of the Tramex custom, uh, customers or even users, we're very open to um, being able to work with any of your other service providers to be able to bring value to your business. Um, Ivan, hey, Kevin, um, Kevin, you if you don't mind, in? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I jump in to answer, yeah, sure. uh, yeah, to also complement your answer? Mm. Um, so they, they remember that there are actually two parts of the solution, right? The first part is really the, the real-time visibility, the shipment tracking, the free trade advisor, uh, the vessel schedules, you know, all that is uh, available to you. Uh, whether or not banks, forwarders, and other players in the ecosystem are, are onboarded. And as uh, Alok also uh, briefly mentioned uh, just now, though, as more and more actors of the supply chain added uh, and onboarded onto the system, then the value is increasing exponentially. But, right, in the first part, you know, you can actually be operating on the platform with a whole bunch of benefits behind all by yourself. Right, if uh, if no one is on board at that point, yeah. And uh, just to also maybe add on one last point is that um, if you have something specific in mind, do feel free to get in touch with us. I mean, what we could show in a uh, ten or twenty minutes uh, of introduction and demo is very limited. There's a lot of other features out there, and many of the things which you are talking about are uh, things we are very actively following up on. Some of them are even coming live, like Kevin mentioned regarding you know courier tracking or air tracking. So many of these information regarding even the forwarders, many of which you might be actually using right now, are coming on board. Maybe are uh, already on the platform. Maybe you know like a week or week and a half from now. So uh, just uh, to clarify, we had limited time to show what we could. Uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, there is a lot more and we could probably, you know, help uh, answer you a little bit more directly if we understand where you're coming from, for sure. Yeah, I think that ties in nicely with the next question, right? So, hey, um, for users, are, are, are we, um, as um, a platform provider, allowing our users to choose, you know, whichever features they want? Um, and is it model modularizable? Um, so definitely, right? So um, you, you can use this for track and trace, you can use this, for, for example, um, planning and scheduling your own organization's tasks, or even, you know, scheduling workflows and um, sort of like uh, plans and events across your partners, and also use us as a document sharing tool. Um, you, you base off your different, um, I would say, organizational requirements, you're able to leverage our platform to be able to get those um, work done. Um, the next question from uh, Lim Chi Wee. So um, can I assume that users like us will be accessing it via a URL and there's no need for the application to be installed on our site? Yep, absolutely, right? So we are offering this uh, entire um, suite of solutions as a SaaS. So um, this, this um, you, all you need to do is you know, um, sign up with your email address and you can get going. Um, the next question um, is Tramas on NTP and can we use it on that platform? Um, we are in the process of uh, moving that application. Um, we are not now, um, but we are pretty sure it will come into to fruition, say, um, 
Q4 of this year. Um, so the next question again by Lin Chi Wee, right? So you mentioned that tracking of shipments in flight and shipping. How about those that are handled by trucks? And usually those truck companies are not big companies. So um, same question as above, if the truckers are not on, on board the system, how does Tremes track this? Um, so Alok, do you want to take this one? Yes, on, uh, yeah, cross -border sure. Trucking? Yeah, sure, sure. So, I mean, um, one of a couple of the reasons why, you know, I'm, I'm taking up these questions as well as uh, uh, these are not new questions that, uh, I mean, uh, we have been faced with before. Uh, like the question on the modular part of the application definitely comes from our background as well, that we do know that different people require different things. That's why it's modular. Uh, in a very similar manner, you don't want to keep installing things because uh, we have realized that's a real problem. You, you don't want to do that. It's IT restrictions, many other things. And uh, I mean, it comes from that experience as well. And for sure, this question is, has been raised to us before uh, regarding trucking or other partners who might not be directly available in, a, in our tracking system now. So to answer that, if the trucking is part of uh, the carrier's uh, journey, Many a time that information is available. We see this in US, for example. I'm not too sure how this is in uh, Asia because at the moment we couldn't uh, see a lot of those examples. That said, usually how we go about this problem is we have partners who we uh, can help. Uh, I mean, who we can bring on board to help your uh, tracking partners send this data over into the platform very easily. It's as simple as downloading an application, which is an extension of our platform and just keeping it on their mobile phones. And that's pretty much it. Uh, they don't need to scan things or do a lot of actions in their hand. Just be a, merely by the fact that their phones with them will be able to track the shipment uh, that they are driving. It's as literally as simple as that because we do understand sometimes it's not very easy to disrupt existing processes. So for sure, uh, it is something that we have handled and we have, uh, you know, worked with before. But regarding specifics, uh, again, please feel free to get to uh, reach out to us. We would be able to, uh, for sure, help you here. Okay, I think we only have um, time for one last question, right? So for those questions that we um, could not get to, uh, we'll reach out to you directly and, you know, do feel free to um, reach out to us on our website or LinkedIn, right? So the last question is, you know, which blockchain uh, are we leveraging? Uh, we are leveraging um, our freeze uh, Corda. So um, we are on the Corda protocol, um, which is like a real pioneer in the distributed ledger um, space and also brings together a lot of um, trade finance and trade communities in, in that application. Right, so, um, so thanks again, you know, everyone. Um, we'd like to round out the, the session and really appreciate, you know, the time spent with us um, for the launch of our platform. You know, the Trames team will continue to look forward to working with you and your organization's um, sort of team to really make, you know, trade and transportation operations a lot more simpler, cheaper, and more profitable for you and your community. So um, once again, we look forward to connecting with you and your teams in the near future. Um, do feel free to share access to Trames with your community and uh, take care everybody. Okay, bye. <laughs>